Hi, it's the 24th of September 2014, it's a Wednesday, and this is Carl James Langford. A short sort of video log today, um, simply because I've been um, up and about um, with work and the um, walk I had today with some of my students, so I'll tell you about that. Um, I spent part of the morning, well, good half hour, um, listening to the Jeremy Vine show on BBC Radio 2, shouting and screaming at the radio with the information about DLT, um, uh, Dave Lee Travis, and it seems overwhelmingly that most people feel like me, that it's uh, a complete miscarriage of justice. Many people are saying that, um, you know, even though they feel DLT is a bit of a slippery character, um, the the idea of people in the 70s and 80s, um, you know, touching people, um, obviously, you know, not going ex as extreme as uh, people like Jimmy Savile, but just touching people um, on the chest or um, just mainly that, um, was something that happened a lot in the 70s and 80s. Um, and what DLT has been um, going to be sentenced um, for on Friday, i.e. Um, touching the breasts of this uh, woman, um, is seems to be very unjustified. Um, it seems to be this guy's complete career has been completely destroyed. And I was listening to a certain Katie Capstick on the on the Jeremy Vine show, and she was agreeing completely with me. Um, why should this guy go to prison for this? Because she can remember in the 70s and 80s, uh, it was commonplace um, in, in, in studios and stuff, particularly the BBC, for this to go on. Nothing was said, nothing was ever done. Um, and also, uh, Davy Travis's um, own PA was saying that um, she worked with him for eight, eight years, from the age of 20 and she never saw any of this and nothing like this ever happened to her so best of luck Dave Lee Travis on Friday and we'll see how things go um, I had my my walk today um, in Sully because I take my students out still in Sully um, and I planned a little bit of the walk beforehand it was to look at the old railway line in Sully um, and I had a very insulting thing happen. I had two members of the public turn up and I said we have a collection and they said oh why are we having a collection and I basically said um this is my living this is how I make money and they basically said oh we don't usually come on walks and people take collections and I said it's it's um how I feed myself oh yeah but you should do it voluntary and I just really thought if I say any more, I'm going to tell these people to um, cuss right off. And it's really insulting that people out there feel that I, many people out there, should do things free of charge. They feel that we should work for nothing. They feel that we should um, do these things with our skills because we've uh, gone to university and do it for nothing. Um, and I felt really insulted by that. But obviously... Um, I managed to get the money out of them, which was great, and that was it. But obviously, I don't want to see them again. Um, but we carried on with the walk, um, and that was really positive um, in the sense that, um, you know, I managed it. And uh, before I'd gone out on the walk, I remember wrecking in the walk, and I remember glancing over to a wall, and there was this squirrel standing on the wall, just standing up upright like this, and I thought, Oh, that's nice. Somebody's made the effort to put a little statue of a squirrel on the wall. I remember going slowly up to it and thinking, Oh, this is a good realistic lifelike squirrel. And I kept going up to it and I thought, Why is this on the wall? And it turned out to be real. Suddenly as I got closer, the, the, the squirrel ran off. And I thought, Oh, it was real after all. The thing was obviously petrified and uh, it was standing still so I wouldn't notice it. Silly squirrel, I did notice it, I didn't think you were real. And, um, but by, but anyway, going back to the walk, 
but by the end of the walk I felt really sick. I felt, you know, why am I still doing these things? And the reason why I'm still doing the walks is not that I, not that I need to do them, I should be focusing every single second on my acting, which I said I'll do, but obviously, but it's just to pay bills at this minute, and that's it. And I'm just thinking, I don't want to be here, I, I don't want to be doing this, I want to be doing the acting. I want to be putting all my focus on that. So, I remember thinking at the end that, um, hopefully by the end of the year I won't be needing to do these things, and, but there are some of my students that I really, really miss, and, um, there's John and Barbara who turn up at these walks every time I do them, and, uh, I really miss you, but these, another example of these two people who were so insulting, um, I don't want to see the likes of you again. And, um, so that's it, really. So, uh, that's my video log for today. If it sounded negative, I'm sorry, but then again, me having a moan. This is Carl James Langford for my video log on the 23rd of September. And best of luck, Dave Reed Travis, on um, Friday. Thanks.